Hey, everyone, welcome back to Manuals Plus. Today, we're elaborating about DirecTV Pay Bill Online. Let's get started. Inside the box. Roku Streaming Stick. 2 AA Alkaline Batteries. Enhanced Remote Control. Streaming Stick. MHL Connector. Plugs into the MHL port on the back of your TV. Status Light. Signifies it is on when lit, or activity when flashing. Reset button. Used to reset your streaming stick. What to do plug it and plug your Roku streaming stick into the MHL port of your TV or other Roku-ready device. Power up. First, power your Roku remote by inserting the included batteries. Locate and open the rectangular battery door on the rear of the unit. Insert the batteries into their slots, making sure to match the positive and negative signs. Place the battery door back over the compartment and press it gently down until the latch snaps securely into place. If the LED on the front of the remote is blinking, it means it is trying to pair to the Roku streaming stick. The remote is ready for use when the LED stops blinking and turns off. Connect to network. Now you can grab that Roku remote and jump right into guided setup. When prompted, select a wireless as your network connection and have your network name and password ready to do the following. Select your network from the list of available networks. Enter your network password if you use one. Remember, network passwords are case sensitive. Complete guided setup. It's the final stretch and hooray, it's a breeze. Continue following the on-screen instructions and you'll get the latest software. Link the Roku streaming stick to your Roku account on your computer. Your Roku account. During setup, you'll be prompted to create your Roku account online at Roku. Com slash link. Your Roku streaming stick will generate a unique code that links your player to your new account. Roku accounts are free and secure. And while a valid credit card number is required to create your account, rest assured you will only be charged if you authorize purchases of apps and games from the Roku channel store. Know your Roku remote. The Roku remote should feel right at home in your hand. We designed it to be incredibly intuitive for watching TV and great for gaming, too. Back. Return to previous screen. Home. Return to Roku home screen. Instant replay. Replay last 7 seconds of video. Up or to down, move up or down. Left or right. Move left or right. Play O pause. Start or pause playback. A and B, action buttons for gaming. FWD scan. Fast forward, scroll right one page at a time. OK. Select an option from a menu. Rev scan. Rewind, scroll left one page at a time. Options. View more options. Status LED. Displays remote usage information. Get your game on. Just a couple of fun facts about your Roku enhanced remote. It's sensitive and smart. The Roku remote incorporates motion sensing technology, allowing more precise and detailed control of gameplay. It comes with an adjustable wrist strap for good reason. Since some games make you sweat, sporting the wrist strap is a very good idea. You don't want to crack the screen of your beautiful TV or harm anyone or anything around you. Buckle up, open the lever on the strap lock and place your hand through the wrist strap. Hold the remote firmly in your hand. Slide the strap lock up so that the strap will not fall off your wrist. Do not over tighten the strap lock so that it's uncomfortable. Pairing your remote control. Prepare your Roku streaming stick to pair by removing the stick and plugging it back in. Open the Roku remote battery compartment. Place the Roku remote in close proximity with your Roku streaming stick. Press and hold the pairing button inside the battery compartment for 3 seconds. Try using the remote again. Specifications Thanks for tuning in with Manuals Plus today. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more handy tutorials. Catch you in the next video.